Hello, welcome to ZTalk. I'm starting this new series of short videos to share with you some little trick in configuring different popular development tools to make the tools work more efficient or look fancier. Here, I'd like to share with you my customization of color theme on Visual Studio Code. I've been using one of themes that comes out of box. It's called high contrast, which I think is much better than default one. Let me quickly show you how to change the theme. Right now, this is the default setting. You just click code, go to preference, and select color theme. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select high contrast. So here, you just change to high contrast theme, which is better, right? However, there is a drawback about it, which is the line and line of each indentation here look way obtrusive. It apparently doesn't look good, right? So here's the little tweak I figured out to make it look better. There are two options. Here comes the option one. You need to go to settings, click code, preference, and select settings. Now you need to open settings as JSON format by clicking this button right here. Click that, and here you need to add one more property like this editor.renderIndent guides and make it false so save it and check it out difference here you go you can see all those alignment lines were gone this is option one but it's kind of look weird like something is missing right so I would recommend my second option Firstly, I'm going to revert my settings by changing the property that I just added here from false to true. Save it and let's see the difference. Here you can see all those alignment lines are back. Now let's switch back to settings again and beside this property, I'm going to add one more property right here. Something like this workbench that color customizations save it and check it out now see the color looks much better and what's more it gives you additional hints at the active indentation like this if i go to this indentation here we go see the highlight right here go to this indentation see the highlight right here yep that's pretty much the trick that i like to share and see you next time.